the Parker Solar Probe. A spacecraft has touched the sun for the very first time. This is by NASA Johns Hopkins APL Ben Smith. Today's uh, December 14 article. On April 28th, 2021, at 9.33 UT, 3.33 Eastern Daylight Time, NASA's Parker Space Solar Probe reached the sun's extended solar atmosphere, known as the corona. It spent five hours there. The spacecraft is the first to enter the outer boundaries of our sun. The results published in Physical Review Letters were announced in a press conference at the American Geophysical Union fall meeting 2021, December 14, that is today. This is by American Physical Society. The manuscript is open access, freely available and download. This is what they said. This marks the achievement of the primary objective of the Parker mission and a new era for understanding the physics of the corona. This is what Justin C. Casper, first author, said. Deputy Chief Technology Officer at BWX Technologies, and a professor at the University of Michigan. The mission is led by Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, JHUAPL. The probe made the first direct observations of what lies within the sun's atmosphere, measuring phenomena previously only estimated. The sun's outer edge begins at the Alfven critical surface, the point below which the sun and its gravitational and magnetic focuses, forces directly control the solar wind. Many scientists think that sudden reverses in the sun's magnetic field, called switchbacks, emerge from this exact area. Casper said, the concept of sending spacecraft into the magnetized atmosphere of the sun, sufficiently close to uh, close that the magnif magne magnetic energy is greater than both ion and electric kinetic and thermal energy predated NASA itself. In 2018, NASA launched Parker Solar Probe with the goal of finally reaching the sun's corona and making humanity's first visit to a star. This past April, the probe spent five hours below the Alf, Alf, Alf then critical surface in direct contact with the sun's plasma. Below that surface, the pressure and energy of the sun's magnetic field was stronger than the pressure and energy of the particles. The spacecraft passed above and below the surface three separate times during its encounter. This is the first time a spacecraft has entered the solar corona and touched the atmosphere of the sun. Surprisingly, the researchers discovered that the Alf Venn critical surface is wrinkled. The data suggests that the largest and most distant wrinkle of the surface was produced by a pseudo-streamer which is a large magnetic structure more than 40 degrees across, found back on the innermost visible face of the sun. It's not currently known why a pseudo streamer would push Alpha Venn critical surface away from the sun. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Researchers noticed far fewer switchbacks below the alpha and critical surface and above it. The finding could mean that switchbacks do not form within the corona. Alternatively, low rates of magnetic reconnection on the sun's surface could have pumped less mass into the observed wind stream, resulting in fewer switchbacks. The probe also recorded some evidence of a potential power boost just inside the corona, which may point to unknown physics affecting heating and dissipation. Quote, we have been observing the sun and its corona for decades, and we know there is an interesting interest in physics going on there to heat and accelerate the solar wind plasma. Still, we cannot tell precisely what that physics is, said Nor. Raufa Rauafi, the Parker Solar Space Project scientist. With Parker Solar Probe, he says, now flying into the magnetically dominated corona, we will get the long-awaited insights into the inner workings of this mysterious region. 
The observations took place during Parker Solar Probe's eighth encounter with the sun. All data is publicly available in the NASA PSP archive. Several pre previous studies predicted the probe would first pass within the sun's boundary in 2021. The fastest known object built by humans, the Parker Solar Probe, has made many new discoveries since it launched, including on explosions that create space weather and the dangers of super speedy dust. The new findings suggest that direct observations by spacecraft have much to illuminate about the physics of coronal heating and solar wind formation. Having achieved its goal of touching the sun, Parker's solar probe will now descend even deeper into the sun's atmosphere and linger for longer periods of time. According to Gary Zank, the co-investigator of the probe's solar wind electrons, alphas and protons sweep for short, the sweep instrument, and a number of the National Academy of Sciences, he said it is hard to overstate the significance of both the event and the observations made by Parker Solar Probe. For over 50 years since the dawn of the space age, the heliospheric community has grappled with the unanswered problems of how the solar corona is heated to well over a million degrees to drive the solar wind. The first measurements of the sub alvenic solar wind may represent the most major step forward in understanding the physics behind the acceleration of the solar wind since the formative model of Parker, he said. Zank said, this event is what many heliophysicists have dreamed about for most of their careers. And this is by Physical Review Letters concerning the Parker Solar Probe on uh, American Physical Society on phys.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.